Hello, this is Steve, Dacroic Glassman. A lot of people are pulling up to this notion about cold working and, well, frankly, they're kind of stunned. When you tell them there's no heat involved, then all the crisscrossing of interpretations and perceptions present themselves. How in the world, what, you're going to make this with no heat. And this is just the basic. This is just an introduction class cube structure we'll call it it's not quite a cube it's not hmm, necessarily the same height as it is the width but the idea of cold working means that your product is already made for instance yep we got a glass here houston well once it's been formulated through heat or through the torch or through the kiln whatever variety you choose to arrive at uh you get your glass source from well at that point, there is no more alchemy involved. This is really kind of a strange concept. When you consider that you take, go from rods, size of pencils, and they're doing some of the most stunning things on earth. Octopus, glasses, wine goblets, you name it. Some of the most beautiful things on earth are being made now in the torch lamp working world. But when it comes to cold working, mm, not quite a known idea, an end entity. And I did some research to see if I could find out, only spent a few minutes, <laughs> to, how old is cold working? The, there was cold forming, metal forming, uh, but not necessarily, well, I didn't get my answer. It dated back to the XYZ days. It didn't quite come down like that. One thing you might want to know about this, this is UV reactant. Gem quality, clarity. Woo -hoo. So as I'm uh, bringing this idea in there, I don't know how old cold working is, but I can tell you uh, uh, about a fascinating correlation. Why I believe cold working is a big deal right now. Because if you think about it, in this fast-paced um, consciousness that we're now living in, where things are frighteningly changing by the minute, by the second, no stability, the pragmatics are, well, the facts have changed from day to day, the theoretical people are off in wonderland because, well, the facts are changing, sometimes in, well, infecting the theories. But I believe that there's a place in this cube that's a lot like my mind. It's compartmentalized. And sometimes, you know, if we really metaphorically speak about this, I can't get back there again. But damn if it wasn't beautiful that one time. And I remember it, and I really do, and I believe me. Well, I believe cold working is a lot like us in our minds of having these in-depth in Awareness, awarenesses and nuances to see these things that are otherwise just mind-blowing. Look at this. Now, this is a simple one. It's going to be sliced. Sliced and diced. But um, cold working is literally a series of taking a piece like this and cutting it with a tile saw and then with a lapidary wheel like this with all the other associative disc it's going to take each one representing a different fret and grit in order to come from rough, like this one. This is UV, and this is citrine crystal, and it's heavy. 35% lead, in other words, to make crystal. So in this cold working idea, you can utilize a lot of different forms of glass. And I'm not going to say most any kinds of glass. That's not true. It needs to be of an optical quality by and large. What's that mean? Mirror-esque. This is dichroic, which obviously lends itself really well to the cold working world. And there's some beautiful things to be made, even in its simplest forms. Now, keep in mind to do successful cold working like any of these objects, which were done on this wheel, you only need two tools. Hmm, he says. A lapidary wheel setup. Mine is a Covington 12-inch variable speed. 
other people are using different models and handmade, homemade, and all kinds of different technology in order to arrive at this outcome. This is a, a pyramid that we did. And in my description, I'm going to list two people that I think you should go take a look at on Instagram. By the way, I'm on Instagram under the same name you found me here on YouTube, Dichroic Glassman. Check out this one by a friend of mine. And uh, we collaborate. And this is a card marker. What? Look at the beauty in it. Again, no heat. Now, this was faceted. This goes into the next realm and step, as do all these. But make no mistake, you've got to assemble the glass in order to even take this and hand this to the next station. And when you consider, these are all glass? He, he says, yeah, it's glass. But in this case, I advocate and sell borosilicate glass. This is a coefficient of 33, same as Pyrex. Well, you only have one reason to talk about coefficient in this cold working arena, and that's you want to keep your hard glass, like borosilicate, on the outside of your cube. You wouldn't want to use a stained glass texture like Spectrum, which it has a mirror coat. You wouldn't want to use that on the outside because it's coefficient 96, actually. And that's a very soft glass. The higher the number, the softer the glass. The only thing harder than borosilicate, by the way, is quartz glass. And it's incredible uh, hardness factor. I don't know where it is on the chart, but uh, it's up there. So keeping in mind that cold working is only utilizing two pieces of equipment, a tile saw and a lapidary wheel, Holy cow, this is different. I don't know of a skill set, a craft, that you can get into where you can actually make something this beautiful in the first day, in your first class. No, not really. Not in ceramics, not metalworking, not woodworking. I don't know very many art forms where you can just kick out something. Let's get these out of the way. Kick out something so stunning that uh, you, 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 it promises you you've got a future in cold working. It's a very interesting skill set that you might want to check into. This is UV with honeycomb inside. You can barely see the honeycomb dichroic, CBS dichroic. And look at that. Look at that dark blue. And this is UV reactive. This is going to be a pretty cool little unit once I get back to working on it again. This one's got some honeycomb. And a lot of other business going on. Way not done. Way not done. But it's so fun in all the processes. And right before your very eyes, it starts getting clearer and clearer, depending on which disc you use. So right now, folks, whether you're aware of it or not, this is a really deep color, too. Real deep. Once you slice it thin, you can appreciate the colors. So in being on Instagram, you're going to be able to see, follow my page under Dichroic Glass Man on Instagram. Say hey. And I'll point you to a few of my friends, some of the big dogs on Instagram. Ones you need to watch out for and whatnot. And, of course, Jack Storms is out there making a big splash. Check out my buddy Jack. Uh, he's doing some big things. And that's in the higher range of cold working where a sculpture the size of this platter could, could run into tens of thousands. Tens of thousands. So um, this is affordable to the average layperson. In under $2,000, you're going to get into a skill set that you can command and make pendants, oh, under 30 days. Really, I have, and I've taught many people, uh, or I should say, I've started some clinics, and they have succeeded themselves. Like I said, get a hold of me on, on Instagram, say hello, 
and I'll point you to some of my friends and acquaintances, business friends, partners, collaborators, and people I supply the dichroics to. So in the description here, I would like to push this video for a friend of mine who's starting a Kickstarter program, Eric. And boy, is he doing some beautiful things. And, and he has a great idea of starting a school in Canada. Give him some love. Check out uh, the Kickstarter. And explore yourself on Instagram and just take a look around at some of this phenomenal stuff that's going around. Yes, gluing up some pieces like this, put some clear in between, put some peach, put some blue, put some cognac, polish it up, cut and polish, insert another piece of dichro on an odd angle, and boy, you can have something exciting going on. That easy. Give us a look. You're going to be pleased, and who knows, maybe this is the skill set you've been waiting for to express your abilities. Maybe you're a technician type guy, mechanically inclined. Uh, boy, this is this sport's for you. So I thank you for listening and check us out. Instagram, Dichroic Glassman. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.